Snack guy. <laughs> look at edema, which is excessive fluid accumulation in the interstitial space. Now, we went already went over the forces that favor filtration and reabsorption, and we've already just described that overall, the amount of fluid leaving the capillary on the arterial end is a little bit greater than the venous end, and we have some net fluid accumulating in the interstitial space. Well, that's usually not a problem because the lymphatic system can pick up that extra fluid and take it away, kind of like a garbage disposal. And so we end up with problems if there's so much fluid out in the interstitial space that is greater than this lymphatic system can handle, I start to get fluid that stays in the interstitial space, and again, we call that edema. So how do we get edema to form then when we have abnormalities in the system. And so we can imagine the causes could be an increase in hydrostatic capillary pressure. That would cause an increase in pushing the fluid out. So that could do it. I could end up with a decrease in oncotic pressure. There's ways that can occur too. If I have less of this force of reabsorption, then more flu will end up in the interstitial space. I also could have an increase in the capillary filtration coefficient, but this is only if filtration is favored with the forces, right? Because if I had forces that favored reabsorption and I increased the conductance, then that would favor more reabsorption. So this is a magnifier. The KF is a magnifier. So if I already had some filtration and I did this, then I would get even more filtration. And then finally, I could have some blockage in the lymphatics. A blockage here would prevent the leaving of the fluid out of the interstitial space and I'd have accumulation of fluid that way. So again, to summarize, any combination of increased hydrostatic pressure in the capillary, decreased oncotic pressure in the capillary, increase the filtration coefficient, assuming we're having filtration, or a blockage of the lymphatic system, all of those things could cause edema, and they are very important things to consider clinically.